Well, what is PACMAN? PACMAN is uh, an acronym for Particle Accelerator Components Metrology and Alignment to the Nanometer Scale. So it's a, a Marie Curie training network supported by the European Commission and is hosted by CERN. And the idea is to train 10 early stage researchers in various fields such as metrology, magnetic measurements, beam instrumentation and nanopositioning. At CERN we have the project which is called CLIC that stands for Compact Linear Collider. Pac-Man aims to align the main components of the linear particle colliders in a precise and accurate way. And should collaborate and work in team. To propose an automatic alignment procedure that it is cost and time efficient. Through this fantastic training program, young researchers as us are able to make a career development plan from eight of Europe's best universities. There are as well eight companies that are going to provide us the industrial viewpoint of their research. Each one of those 10 students is specialized deeply into its own fields, developing a technology and having a PhD out of it. Basically, it's a lot of organization. I think that it might be a good starting point for all the future applications, such as in the medical applications. Semicon industry or electronics in general. It's a great opportunity for personal and professional growth for being part of a multicultural team in uh, one of the biggest laboratories in the world. And to become independent in the research, to be responsible for my project, for my budget, and then to accomplish it in the best way. I believe that Pacman really accelerates my life. <laughs> and gives you this amazing opportunity to continue developing yourself. And also the possibility to represent the women in the in the science, and I'm really proud to do this. What I enjoy the most is being part of the progress of science and technology. The solution of borders. We can talk about the same thing from different aspects. The feeling of being part of a community who shares the same goal. Working towards the development of solutions that do not exist at present.